Neil unbeaten in seven at this moment in time, but you go into these home games at the moment just looking for that little bit more? Yeah, definitely, yeah. We want to turn them draws into wins. Um, I think we've been unfortunate that that hasn't happened. Um, we were nearly there on Saturday. If we'd have showed a little bit more quality in the final third, that little bit of luck, then that would have been a, a deserved three points in my opinion. So I can't fault the again the effort of the players, um, the concentration, the intensity that they brought to a derby game was was terrific. Uh, we were just lacking that final little bit, um, but um, it'll be a different type of game tomorrow night. However, we're at home um, and. We've got a good record at home and we want that to continue, but yeah, ideally we want to turn these draws into wins very, very quickly. You've got quite a lot of players in that starting eleven that have been match winners this season. Are you just looking for that bit more consistency from them in terms of goals from all areas? Yeah, it, it's just, it, you, I suppose when you've got that much possession and domination of the, the game that we had in the second half, you're just hoping that one of those players provides that moment of quality or... Uh, the, the the final pass, the cross, the finish um, that wins you the game. And it doesn't have to be the forward players. It could be a midfield player. It could be a fullback providing a cross. It might be a set piece. Um, set plays are part and part of the game. So it might be one of the defenders. It's a collective effort. You know. Uh, I know it's a bit of a football cliche that you win together and you lose together, but it is. We we've got to do more as a team to try and turn that um, that domination that we had on Saturday into three points. Oli Turton put a really strong performance in on Saturday. Does that competition in that right-back area sum up what you want across this squad? Yeah, I think we've got good competition in a lot of places, you know, and the players know that if they want to stay in the team, they need to play well. And Jordan Gabriel had been playing well. He just rolled his ankle after the crew game and he wasn't quite right for the game. I think it was against Wimbledon on the Saturday. Um, so... He went out of the team throwing through nothing to do with his performance. He just wasn't quite right from a physical point of view and Oli's come in and taken his chance and that's what you want. You want the players out of the team to be patient, working hard and when they get their opportunity to play, they're ready to take it. And um, I think we've had that um, in a lot of different positions this season um, and that's probably, probably going to remain the case between now and the end of the season. Where are you with the players missing at the moment, particularly obviously Dan Gretson's had a week of training now, hasn't he, and, and the latest on Gary Medine? Yeah, Dan Gretson's been back training for a week now. Um, we have to make sure we get the right level of training into him because at the moment a lot of the players are playing, resting, preparing and then playing again. And There's not a, low, a lot of training in between the games, so we have to make sure Daniel's getting the right level of training um, from a physical point of view, but also for him individually, what he's going to need if he gets an opportunity to play, which could happen soon. Um, so he's back in, no, uh, um, no ill effects yet from the training he's had. Uh, Gary Medine's just a taking a little bit longer than we'd hoped. Um, one day he feels fine, the next day he just feels um, something. Um, so we just have to be cautious with him. Um, we're, we're governed by him a little bit, um, but we have to obviously take medical advice as well. So he's been a big player for us. He's a big, he's a big help in and around the dressing room um, on match days. And he's frustrated. He wants to get out there and help the team. And um, obviously myself, uh, you know, we're, we're, we want him back as quick as possible. But he, he has to be, he has to be right physically. At the moment, he's not quite there. Rearranged game against Burton on Tuesday night. You spoke about Burton quite a lot this season because the games that have been due, but. When you go back to the, the first time you've analysed them, it'll be completely different, won't it, this time around? Yeah, because Jimmy's um, had time to stamp his authority onto that playing squad, uh, and there's no doubt the, the the big impact he's had there. Him and Dino have done a fantastic job. Um, they're the informed team in the division. I think they've won six games on the trot. Um, tells you all you need to know about them. Um, they're full of confidence. They're winning games. And it's going to be an extremely difficult game. If you can go to Crew and win 3-0, then it's, it says a lot about the uh, the moment that they're in. Um, so we've got a tough game awaiting for us on Tuesday night.